construction going on over here. Yeah. I learned on my other game that uh, you have to take those down if you're going to do like a uh, mud wrap or anything like that. Yeah. Well, they were falling apart anyway. Yeah. They've been up for a while. I've got plenty of building material. I totally get it now. So this um, map right here that's drawn by like a kid or something. Yeah. So this is the map that shows you the direction to the airport. Oh, that's cool. So the middle egg looks like a sunny side up egg, but it's supposed to represent, of course, uh, Anaconda Island. So it's face up north with the plane facing uh, northeast, more direct east, which is exactly where the airport's at or airstrip. <clears throat> oh, okay. Which we probably should go there to get the map, anyways, and then we could head down to. Um, South for the yeah. diving gear. What do you want to do, there, buddy? I'm just fiddling around while we're here hanging out. No, we're we're gonna be here for a couple days. So might as might as well just. Yep, you know it. I just want to make it comfortable. Yes. I need to build a mud thing down there. Need to make mud. Mm -hmm. No entries. Oh, I gotta go and dig it out. I don't think we've fiddled with it yet. Mm -mm. Not yet. Alright, here we go.
Alright, there's quite a few things you can do with the bamboo stick. I'm trying to figure out what the hell it is. Yeah. I never did understand that one myself. Alright, so you can put two ropes in there. You can put two ropes? Yeah, two ropes. Bamboo stick. the blade. So it's involved in two rope. Let's see, two rope. Hmm, I don't know. Two rope and a bamboo stick. It's letting me put two rope on it and it's keeping those three other spots open. It's just kind of weird. And better feathers. Charcoal? No, no charcoal. figure it out but so far bamboo stick will be can be paired with two rope uh, I don't know what the other three slots are for but it holds up to six slots so definitely in it must be a hell of a tool I'm thinking it's that damn blow dart hmm I figure out how to make it I wonder if it would take some of that resin ah Blue. Get resin. Yeah. Because I know if you do, I think it's one feather, one bone needle, that makes one dart. So let's go. Bone needle. Crap. And. Bird feather. No, it's just a bird feather. And a bone needle. And the feathers take up just five slots. Hmm. Ah, oh, I know. Wow. Okay, so it's a. Uh, Don't listen to me. I don't know what I'm doing. Ooh, uh, ooh. Oh, that the feathers are five five slots for the fishing pole. Oh, yeah. Um, but as far as the bamboo stick, I'm still trying to figure that one out. I'll figure it out. I still tinker now with it and go grab a few more things. Cause if we could get a blow dart dude, gun. Yeah. Dude, that would freaking help out so much. Because those tribes, man, we could go in and kind of just take them out one at a time, you know? Yeah. Make them all fall asleep. Yeah. 
Especially if you put poison, the poison on. Well, I think that's what you do. Is it, I think <clears throat> it kills them. So they're killer darts. Man, look at you guys. You got a whole house right here. Yep. I'll wait to knock this banana roof off and probably get some mud laid on the rest of the house. But that's what I want it to look like. For now. And then once I get the bottom story done, I'll put another story on it. Well, we got a pet over here. Maybe two of them, what, a turtle? Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's cute. Oh, yep, another turtle right here. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. Uh, oh, we need, we need some more logs. Precisely. Four more logs. Five more logs. I wish you'd let you use a bamboo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That would be nice. Three more is all we need more. Found some honey. Oh, cool. <gasps> Found some honey, but it came with a price. Oh, you got, you got got, did you? I got godded. Dang it. I got a band-aid for a thing. Nah, I'll be alright. He'll rub some dirt on it. That's right. All right. Some things you get just rub the dirt on, he says. Yeah. Until it's infected. Yeah. Then you just put maggots on it and you're alright. <coughs> oh, found an egg. Found an egg. It's a nest. Oh, found a cat. I'm coming back. <laughs> oh, found another nest, though. Oh, more eggs. Got two <coughs> eggs on me now. Oh, yeah. Thanks for good work. My guy has finally grown a set. He's <laughs> got a pair of huevos. Damn, you come a long way, buddy. Working on it. Totally rock, squirt. <laughs> Name's Crush. We all knew that turtle was stoned. Oh, yeah. It's funny how they throw that shit in cartoons. Yeah. That's I for mean, the parents. Yeah, the parents gotta have a laugh, too. Yep.
coming in. Need some more bananas. Bananas. Banana, banana. Banana, banana. Coming in hot. turtles around here than normal. Because <laughs> we're not harvesting them. They think it's a safe haven. And I wish you could do something with this damn snake. Yeah. That would be cool. It's on the condo. Damn, what was the name in Jungle Book? Uh, Khan? No, that yep. was really... No, not Shere Khan. Uh... Close, though. I don't know what it was. You just can't pick them up. I know, and set them down somewhere. Uh huh. Hey, he's just hanging out. He's about to go and hang out in the water. Yeah, that's alright. He be back. Well, he turned around. He's he's like in the mud. start with that with that wall the one with the fireplace on it Wait, I didn't this time I did the little half in that way I had a dry place to crash out or storage or whatever We got all those bamboo logs and stuff. We should build one of the charcoal fire or uh, water purifiers or whatever. All right, we got bamboo. Sure, we can stick this thing what by front door or something. Sure, right there, bam. I was gonna build another one of those rain catches <coughs> and inside whenever I get done because I'm gonna put a hole in the wall and you see them. Maybe I don't know. Maybe. Well, you got one more stick. Uh, yeah. Right. Actually, I could put the charcoal water filter in the in the house, and then I'll be able to put it in a different spot instead of where the hole is, because then I can put my ladder there. go. 
go. Ain't that bad. No, I was talking to a guy. He's freaking out because he's got to start a fire. You just lucky you didn't have to sit there all day do it. Because that's how really long it takes. Yeah. It takes a good about three, four hours. That's no kidding. I'd like to do the roof next on that little area there. That was always told. If you have to. Get a friction fire going, don't let it go out. Yeah, that's no shit. I've done it just for fun. Just to see if I could do it. Now we gotta do it when we're stressed out and hungry. Mm -hmm. And everything's all wet. <laughs> yeah. Well, I've done the wet fire just to make sure I could do it. I've done quite a bit of quite a bit of survival training. Yeah, if I can't start a fire in the water, first thing I look for is oil. Yeah, and there's lots of natural oil out there. Yep, tree saps. Yep. Mm. And uh, animal fats too. Yep. That shit will go up quick. It's like when Bear Grylls uh, couldn't find any dry kindling. You know what he used? What's that? I'll give you three guesses. The first two don't count. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of <laughs> No, he used his damn pubic hairs. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he just said... Oh, he, I remember that one. Yeah, he went and cut his damn fucking pubic hairs off. Fuck, he put it in yeah. there. <laughs> it's like, oh... I ain't gotta use that. So bad for the damn <laughs> cameraman. He's got to smell it. Yep. But, in a survival situation, you got to do what you got to do. Yeah, as long as I don't have to drink my pee, I'm okay. Yeah. But I really think that was just for... I mean, you people do that, but I think he did it because he was on TV. Yeah. I wouldn't Because he did it too, too many times. He's known for the man that drinks his own pee. Shit, Les Stroud's done it before, and he ain't even known as the man that drinks his own pee. Yeah. That's no kidding. Bear Grylls, fuck. Bear Grylls, Bear Grylls. Yeah, they taught him some weird shit in Special Forces. Yeah. Life for us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, funny. it's fucking theme song right now. 
You know, let me put the damn mud roof on it. Um, here I got you. There's like a. You get stupid. There we go. Did you want one with a hole in it? Yeah. And I want the hole to be. Oh, what the hell? I did something. I want the hole right here, baby. Yeah, sometimes you gotta be all weird and. Like this one, it might have me go up here, so. <clears throat> Hopefully, I don't break shit down. Well, we can put up the rest of the walls and then worry about that. Oh no, I got it. Eh. I know I got it. Yeah, yeah. I'll just keep making mud. There we go. the Sasquatch again. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Did you hear that every once in a while? Yeah, every once in a while. It's not often at all. It's like once a week on the damn game. Because I can hear it a direction. Yeah. I always wondered... Oh, I wonder if it's one of those thugs. The... Not the thugs, the giants. Oh, maybe. Because that's what they sound like, isn't it? Yeah. I wonder if that's what it is. Dude, I think we figured it out. I think, I think you're right. I think it's one of those damn giant fucking tribal people. Which... I actually consider those the Nephilim because even, uh, you know, in all the folklore of all the, like, ancient Indian culture, even around here, they had, uh, giants with them. Yeah. And it was only a very few. Like, even in Egypt and, like, freaking all that shit. You know, like, uh, you know, David and Goliath was actually based on a re real story that happened. <coughs> yeah. I didn't know that. Oh, dude. Freaking what? watching these Unsolved Mysteries on. Uh, oh, I thought there was something coming to the camp. No. <laughs> <laughs> I do wish you could hop on those damn lily pads, though. Yeah. And, like, that would be cool. like stay on them. Yeah. That'd be a good way to fish. Yeah, it would. But I guess it'd be a little unrealistic, huh? Yeah, yeah a little bit. Alright, that one's done. Now I'll get that roof done for us. So I was watching these Unsolved Mysteries on Netflix. Yeah. I always watch that History Channel weird shit. Um, so this Unsolved Mysteries is like cold case files. You know, like people go missing, they never figure it out, kind of shit. Yeah. Well, uh, they also do like paranormal stuff. And this is stuff that's been documented. They only do stuff that's been on the news and shit. You know, like actual cold case files or files that have been uh, dispatched to the authorities and stuff. 
Um, well, one of them was about uh, giants per se. Yeah. It was about seeing Bigfoot um, around the San Juan River. Huh. And I guess the sightings in the Navajo Nation, uh, the Navajo, um, you know they have the Navajo Rangers? Yeah. Which is like their SWAT team out there for, um, the, you know, the backlands and stuff. Yeah. Well, they were getting calls from an old lady. Um, well, not really old. I guess she was in her 60s. Because, you know, she had people that were living at her house. Her son was working, or her uh, husband was working a night shift. So he goes to work at 10.30 at night. Out on the mm -hmm. reservation. And, uh... She said about 30 minutes after he had left her work, she was getting, uh... The door was like the doorknob on their front door was like shaking back and forth. Well, she thought it was her husband trying to get back in, like he forgot something. Yeah. And she went to go unlock the door, and she opened it, and there's this eight foot tall, nine foot tall. She said it was a very lanky, very uh, like uh, she said that the air was humid around this creature, like it was very musky. Um, and she just kind of like, sh like was stuck in fear. Right. Um, so her, you know, kids seen it around her shoulder and stuff like that, and it slammed the freaking. They have like a bug door, you know, a screen door or whatever. It slammed the screen door shut, took off. She closed the door, locked it, and it came back. Um. And doing the same thing. Well, she didn't open it, of course, and she ended up making a, a police report. Yeah. Uh, saying that, you know, there was something going on over at the house, and she told the police, you know, it wasn't, a, it wasn't an animal she's ever seen. She's lived out on the reservation for her 60 years of her life. Oh, wow. Um, and her husband knew about it, you know, was, uh, trying to figure out what's going on well they had the Navajo Rangers come out and do a thorough search and they found uh, footprints that were 21 inches long holy shit and the spread between the two the footprints from the right foot and the left foot were five foot you know if I were to you know the guy even said he's like if I were to do you know five foot step I'd be technically almost doing the splits yeah no shit so he said whatever was out there, and it had five toes. It was set up as a, a bipedal animal. So yeah. there's a... They have, you know, the farm fence, so they have, you know, uh, like barbed wire and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Well, you could see where the tracks went up to the barbed wire. And they took... A, there's a little piece of a hair sample on the barbed wire where it stepped over. And they send it out to the data lab for forensic, um, you know, testing and stuff. Yeah. And it came back as an unknown carnivore. Huh. And they said that there's every single animal you can imagine on that database. It would have right. picked up something that it had on there, but whatever the DNA was, wasn't on the DNA database of all the animals they had in the area. Hmm. That's nuts. And this is not even 40 miles away from here, dude. Yeah, this is over near Ship place. Rock, down through that San Juan River. Yeah. Which is funny, now check this out, I go down to... This is where I was uh, linking up my stuff too down in McKelmo Canyon, back behind uh, Sleepy Mute Mountain. Yeah. That road kind of trails back there, and there's people that live back there, but there's also like a place that people go shooting out in the canyon because it's kind of a vast acreage of just nothing yeah. but nothing. <laughs> a couple of hills here and there. Um, Good place to shoot. 
Yeah, but there's three burial mounds out there, like, you know, they're actual burial mounds, like, Indian burial mounds. Um, and there's a rock that leads off to the turnoff point, and that's like a landmark for people to know where that area is at, you know, like, because it's a place that, it's open to the public and stuff. Something bit me. Sorry. You got bit by a scorpion thing, or a centipede? I don't know what it was that bit me. <sighs> you really got bit? Yeah, on the leg. I don't have no clue what bit me. I don't know, there's nothing over here. Like, I'm walking around. Yeah? There ain't nothing. Look, even in the grass right here, there ain't nothing. That's crazy. You, you poison? Yeah. Wow. You got bit by some... Oh, probably a wandering Brazilian somewhere. It's probably walked off by now. Yeah, and I don't have a band-aid for that. I need one of those really band-aids. I don't even have band-aids. You'll be alright. Right? Yeah, maybe. How much did he give you on poison? Um, looks like... Either one or four, I can't quite tell from here. I'm on the couch. Oh, okay. That's why you got me. Now I'll just I'll I'll I'll, I'll keep a look at you because I can see your health bar above your head. I'll just keep an eye on it. Go. Looking for band aid stuff. Oh, okay. We're just holding down the house. Make some more mud here in a minute. Um, I have some charcoal. Oh yeah, so where was I? Um, freaking, there's a rock over there down in McKelma Canyon. Kind of identifies where you're supposed to turn off. It's like a landmark people use. Well, the rock has like uh, petroglyphs on it, or, petro or you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Um, and it's got a, you know red paintings. It's got a painting of a bigger person and then right next to the big guy it's a it's a crowd of a bunch of little people and that big guy was a giant because there's a few of them there's I think there's one and then there's kind of one like painted randomly on the edges of the stone but then there's this little group of like you know because they draw like stick figures so there's this little group and I think the little group's a tribe that was out here in the four corners area and that big guy's the, ne the Nephilim. And they were known to have, uh, you know, like red hair and all that shit. You've heard me talk about this too many times. I've heard it a couple of times, but not just from you. You like I it? Think, I think what's going on with my character here is I need to do this. Because I found the lily dressing and it won't let me put it, or the tobacco dressing in it. Was he bugging <gasps> out? Oh, he's about half health.
You got a bone? I do got a bone needle. I, I do got a bone needle. Got two of them. No, that ain't it either. What what does it look like? Oh, you mm -hmm. got a you got a scrape. Well, I tried putting a regular band-aid on it, and it wouldn't let me do that either. It wouldn't let you? Uh-uh. Dude, tilt your leg to the right. Oh, it's infected, bro. You need maggots. You need maggots. Here. There you go. I'll put maggots on it. Alright. Alright, one more piece of mud for now. Got a frog. You got a what? Uh, toad. No. Oh. Cool. Hey, yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to lead him into the house. You can stay in there. But I'm fixing to put it. Man, I wish you could move this tarp, or at least fold it. Something. Yeah. Just something to get it out of the way. I mean, I like the look of it. I mean, it gives that tent look, but at least fold it, you know. <laughs> oh, this guy's been hanging out all day. I think you should name him. We shall call him Pete. Pete? Pete. Alright, like Pete? Like P E T? P E T E. P -E, -T -E. All right, it's gonna be Pete Jones. Pete Jones. Yeah, Pete Jones. From uh, from Zach and Mary make porno. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. I don't know if you remember that. He's it's all, been a while since I've seen it, but yeah. He's all. What's your name? He's all Chester the molester, cocking your stuff. <laughs> and he's all, yo, he's already got a porn name. He's, and then dude's all, you could have a porn name. He's all, <laughs> I want to be Pete Jones. <laughs> and they kind of look at him funny, because it's like, he goes by the Chester molester like normally. Yeah. <laughs> that shit's funny as fuck, dude. <clears throat> yeah, you guys gotta watch that fish fucking movies. The fuck, Seth Rogen's some good shit, dude. Man, I, my guy's like tripping out. He won't even hit the damn wood. How's your How's your energy? Not bad. What the hell? It's a swing and a miss. Uh, 
That was some crap. Yeah, well, you're not no great bambino today, that's for sure. I'm telling you. Oh, no, the stick hit me in the head. I found a big old spider over here. He's gonna take out that mouse. Nope. What the fuck? You guys freaking out again. Yeah, he went through a whole use of an axe and didn't even. nothing. So crazy. Somebody put a fence up in my way. Uh, it's not a fence, sir. It identifies as leaf holder. Mm -hmm. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be good with some more rope. Uh, I got tons of rope. How much you need? Um, how much is going to take you? Who's up there? Four, I think. Four? I got you. Set them down inside <coughs> here. And there you are. Sweet. There's four rope and side camp.
Did you take off with the log and the sticks over over here? Yeah, they're all right here. I got bit. Fuck off me! Did you get bit by? Ah, uh, Goliath bird eater. Oh, nice. Same thing you got bit by, I think. Probably. Seem the only ones to be around right here. some food. Yeah. What's he building? Oh, he's building a pirate ship. 
That's looking way good. Man, just need some more bamboo. There's two logs down here. We got another two up here. Actually, I got three over here. I'll just need one up top. <coughs> Looks like we got something on the walkie-talkie. Uh, you might have something on the walkie-talkie. Now I just need four of the long bamboo sticks. Do you have something on the walkie talkie? Yeah. It's just about in killing the thing. Mm -hmm. something crackling through the woods. Mm, no telling. We've been here for a minute now. Well, you've been here for like, what, two, three days? Yeah. Should you got probably, more rope? probably go out for an adventure in the morning. Uh, I do actually. Oh, wait, no, I don't. Hold on. I need four more rope. I need to make you another one. I'll get you some more rope. I got you. This is, uh. Oh, we might have to go out. Yep. Well, you're already on it. Look at you go. And it got dark. the rope now. And then I'm just going to do a banana leaf, leaf on that one. Yeah, on the very top. Yeah, no one's getting up there, so. It'll look nice with a banana leaf. Get Same some... as I did for in here. Right. No, that's going to look really nice. I don't figure I'll put any walls. This is just a place to come chill at.
Oh, I could do half walls of this. Oh, a couple half walls always gives it some character. Yeah. Um, you have to get on the next level to do it. Or did you? You already did that, probably. I tried. Let's see. I don't mean I ain't doing it right. There we go. Oh, got it. Boom. Yeah. Had to go down here to the ground. <coughs> and I need some banana leaves. Careful, there's a spider over there. I got, I got bit the shit. <laughs> yeah, I just like that angle. Well, I remember he's there. Yeah. He's a dick. And he is. I don't like him. And you no. don't like him? No. We don't like him. Just take him <laughs> off. Uh, yeah, then his brothers come back. Yeah, then they got an attitude to it. Goddamn lizard. Yeah, I was going to get these ones built. Could have three fishing lines going. Oh, yeah. And then I got a little extra prawn trap. That way you can get a whole bunch of them prawns. Yeah. Some good eating.
on my single player camp, I took all those other tents out. The ones that are, are over by the big fire pit. I took one of them out, left one of them, one of them I threw the wood in. And the fish. I don't take down my home. It's my home. It's my home. This is my, my house. I can take down my house. It could be good. It could be good for you. Yeah, you know, I'll just end up putting some of down there. Yeah, another one of them A-frame beds. Yeah. Shit, we could do a whole circle, then build our own ritual. Yeah. Yeah, I'm on one banana leaf sugar. Um. There we go. Now there's a bed up here and a bed downstairs. Well, I'll tell you this. You're gonna love the East Bridge. I'll tell you that. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. It's got big plans. Ain't no one getting in that. Yeah, you might as well put a pirate flag on top of your building. Oh, it's cool. Yeah. Yeah, I wanted to be able to get up there high enough I could see. And if they ever do put mosquitoes in, I should be fine with my bed up top. Because it's right there in that smoke. I keep the mosquitoes away. Yep. Damn, I really want those damn freaking spike traps. I'll have to go and find those. I get them damn spike traps, man. Those would be the would be legit. Yeah. I don't remember where those were. Um I couldn't say either. Right. Well, there's my little house, my dude. That one was crawling right inside her camp. Huh. Right next to the fire over here. Or the fire pit. That's crazy. Oh, I killed his ass. Hey.
はいはい Take all these ones up for you. Oh, you thought I was stealing them? Uh -uh. Stealing them for my own good use? But it's really bad use. Oh, good use. Anything he's already bitching. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know, I got tons of them. Well, I got at least half of them. One long. All right. I got the rest of the regular coming up now. Need one more long. <coughs> I think I know that way. Uh, 
kidding me? Uh, no, I got the, I got the other one pulled up for you. You just need one. Some honey water. Yeah. It's good. It gives you quite a bit of stuff. Yeah, I got another one of these honeys if you want one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Got another one of these honeys. You got two honeys there. Put my bag and go. Not down a bit. Hey, yeah, you got you can't go wrong without a garden. Yeah. The big plant is you can plant those uh bigger plants. Like the uh green whatever they are that we eat all the time. No, we just need all oranges. I'm just fucking with you. I was thinking uh, an orange plant, tobacco plant, um, a red berry plant, a um, 
Molinaria for bandages. Yeah. We can probably even do two bandage plants. <laughs> Shit, fuck. I got scrapes on me right now. No. I'm all infected. Chips. Long sticks. Mm -hmm. Why the hell wouldn't it take short sticks? That's just, just <laughs> as long as a short stick. <laughs>
Not the fish just don't like the rain or something. That's kind of crazy. That's the best time to fish is that one of these rainy. I don't see one damn flipper out there. Oh, I see one. Coming right up to me now, and... That's my spear. For me? Yeah. How? I don't know. It just fell off my book. You hide it, man. Oh, what? Uh, right. Oh shit! All right. I'm gonna go to the restroom here in just a second. Yeah, I was gonna have a couple drags of a cigarette. <laughs> Dude, I'm getting us loaded on fish. Oh, yeah. <gasps> Need to find a bunch of stone, man. I'm gonna go to this. Shit. 
Oh, dude, I thought you were a creeper freaking tribal dude. <laughs> My heart sunk so quick. Is that, I was like, I was like, I thought you went to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Charcoal. Like six of them. Oh, I got tons of charcoal. You need to put it in the water thing you need out there. This thing. Then I have to go find a bunch of rocks. You have eight stone. <laughs> Man, that's a lot of traps. Oh. Yeah, I figured, you know, take advantage. Yeah. Plus, it'd kind of be funny to see a group of guys just fall down right there. Yeah, it would be. Just stand back and watch and laugh. Eat some popcorn. Yeah. It's our version of Saturday Night Live. <laughs> Get at him. Where are you at? Um, over by the water's edge. <laughs> the wood, the long stick side, or wood stick side, yeah, over here. I don't know where he's at, I heard him though. There he is. 
I see him right there. You see him? Uh-uh. He's right there. Oh, I see him. He's going to be right there. Oh, that didn't get him. Damn, and somehow he got me twice before I could even move. He fell into the water. I don't know if I'm gonna harv we can harvest him. Are you alright? Do you need a bandage? Nah, I got bandage. Just crap that he got me like that. Oh yeah, his body's down here. Can't even carry him. Well, that sucks. He's good meat. Let's see if I can. No, I cannot. You ever unlock? Did we ever unlock a crafting table? No, um, not sure. Oh, we. Yeah. No, we didn't. <laughs> so looking through that, I'm like, eh, it's not a crafting table. You know, I'm not finding any stones or rocks. After it rains, as soon as it stops raining, you should find tons. <gasps> They usually start falling off everything when it stops raining. How many rocks do you need? Um, I think six stones and like three rocks. I don't remember, I had to go look. Oh, you need three actual big stones, okay. Mm -hmm. I don't have no maggots. Oh, I got maggots. No, oh, yeah. Yeah. I have to come get some maggots. Yeah, I got plenty of maggots. I'll set them right here for you once you get here.
coming into the light so you don't lose them. And here we go. Right under the tarp. Smells like fish in here. Plenty of food. Hell yeah. Figured you was doing all the building, I gotta do something. <laughs> some some sort of con contribution. Yeah. Should have had you load all the fish right over here and one of these. No, oh, I it. did. I did this so I you can it could be right in your face. I know. I, out of sight, out of mind. You know, it might go rotten if I put it somewhere else. No. Nah, just kidding, bro. <laughs> 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 nah, I was just like, I was like, should I just fill up this whole floor with fish? And then I realized that uh, it's harder than it looks. Yeah, I bet it is. I'm actually harvest a lot of this and go put it on that drying rack after I move it. That'd be cool. Oh, oh, people! Nobody. People! People, people, people! Oh shit, here they come too. Ah! Go, go, go. Right in the head, stupid. What do you want? Come here, stupid. Two plus two equals four, stupid. Oh, you I, 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 I saved it. We'll have to reload. But I did save it right before they showed up. I did too. Because they're going to knock this whole place down, dude. They brought a whole gang of 20 of them. Look at you fighting them. I was trying. Yeah, we'll have to load back in. Yeah, cause look at this shit. I don't want to look at the gunman shits right here, dude. Yeah, I just love the statue. Yeah, I ain't picking all that shit up. Alright. Uh, now we just got a couple. Dude, they just freaking... I need to get those traps filled. They came flying in. And they're yeah, like camouflage. The only thing you see is their damn skeleton. Yup. <laughs> 